My name is Hiro Murai. I'm one of the directors of Atlanta, and this is Notes on the Scene. So we are watching a scene from the episode Teddy Perkins. That's episode six of season two. Uh, this is a weird one. You know, it's a, it's a bottle episode. We're kind of stepping out of our usual Atlanta world. We follow Darius and his adventures of trying to get a piano from a, an old man, Teddy Perkins, that he found online. It exists entirely in the house. It becomes sort of a horror episode. It's very different from the language of our usual show, but uh, it's one of my favorites of the season. The entire episode, you're kind of seeing uh, Darius trying to figure out Teddy's M.O. Teddy is, is just a weird, eccentric, reckless old man, but you get the sense that he has some malicious intent or some ulterior motives. Uh, you're uh, the butler or whatever they um, didn't bring the water yet. Oh, I don't have a butler. I just use this to remember things. Finish that hat for Dion Warwick. Wash your hands. Immediately. Darius would like a glass of water when you have a moment. Right then. Excuse me. sit next to this <clears throat> and now that it's over I'll never be sober I couldn't believe and now I'm so high and now I'm so high Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Blake Money. Blake Weather, welcome to another episode of Unfiltered Bachelor, the breakdown series, the Atlanta Breakdown Series Season 2 is what we are on. Everybody, you guys know me. I'm Money Blakeweather, but let's introduce the rest of the panel. You know him. You love him. He won't shake your hand. He won't tell you hi. Don't look at him in 7-Eleven. Just look at him walking down the street, keeping social distancing. It's your neighbor with the flavor. It's your guy on the fly. Or we just call him Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Hey, hey how's it going? Uh, pretty okay. You know, just the world oh you know other than that everything's awesome yeah the the world yeah. the world yes Mo- you know. <laughs> 2020 moving on <laughs> yeah. uh and our our uh second host uh, our second co-host you know him you love him he's uh somewhere in the mountains of denver feeling just clever it's your favorite and our favorite it's terry what's up terry Black Lives Matter. There, I said it. Yes. Now, 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 your podcast won't get shut down. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> welcome. <laughs> first, first of all, yes, they won't attack you now. First of all, you yes, have my blessing. Diversity and Black Lives Matter. I don't. I don't. <laughs> we have your blessing. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Speaking uh, of, of Terry, how are things up there in Denver? Uh, I mean. There have been protests, there have been a little bit of, you know, a little rioting, but no, I haven't really read anything about anything getting broken into and looting, but they have instituted, like, a city and countywide curfew for Denver. Oh, shit. So that has really fucked up my DoorDash game. Like, when DoorDash says they're not gonna, like, make people go out Mm -hmm. in dangerous situations even during COVID, you know it's serious. Dude, you <laughs> shared a post the other day that I think explained it so per- perfectly. And it was uh, Target's uh, boarding up now, which you know what that means. Uh, they didn't do it for COVID. It's, that's their way of saying they don't care about their employees, but they do care about their merchandise. That's right. God, that, I was that hearing is, about yeah, that's a good what point. Target and like Round Rock and stuff was like boarding up. And I was like, that's that's nowhere near Dude, downtown. The, uh, Target on uh, – Dude, the target on Ben White by uh, me and Blake boarded up the other day. Why? That's that's far away. It's nowhere near downtown. Yeah. Oh well. 
<laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. Uh, the world, as Jeff said, huh? Uh, that's what's going on. However, we are keeping peace here. We're representing everybody, and in the best peace possible, over a show that talks about racial problems. Hey, it's called Atlanta, and we're all here to uh, have our own thoughts and opinions. Before we get started with any of that, I, Jeff. I, I don't know, Blake. I don't know if there's any racial problems in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be—it's gonna be like I, that, huh? I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jeff! I'm guessing, I'm guessing you want your trivia, huh? Hit us with the IMDb facts, sir. All right. So starters, this is a nine point seven. It is the highest rated episode of this season, which is funny because the one we're about to cover is the lowest rated. Uh, director, we got Hiro Mirai again. And then into our trivia. Okay, so. Donald Glover, in white face, plays Teddy, the main character, Teddy Perkins. It is said that he remained in character during the entire filming process. Many on set found it creepy, and others had little to no clue it was in fact Donald Glover. He was even that. addressed as Teddy by the director and crew. Uh... <laughs> Collider said the decision to uh, run the episode commercial free aided the episode's uh, message of being trapped as the viewer is never given a break. <clears throat> Hiro Mirai was nominated for the 2018 Emmy Award for Outstanding Directing of a Comedy, lost to Amy Sherman Palladino for Pilot. The character Teddy Perkins, while not entirely, is reportedly heavily based on Michael Jackson. And. The episode won two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Sound Editing for a Comedy or Drama Series, um, Half Hour, uh, and Animations and Outstanding Cinematography for a Single Camera se Series. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So this particular episode won for sound editing? <coughs> yes. That's, that's so awesome and funny because my music notes were on this. That there's only two songs that play. And both are Stevie. And both are Stevie Wonder. <laughs> so I was like, really? They won an award with only two songs. Because this episode, there's like, I was trying to keep up with the music. And I was like, wait, there's there's no music. Except for the beginning and ending. It's it's so, it, I mean. Not doing music made it so much creepier, you know? Yeah, well, that and like the sound effects when things are happening. It's so um, th – those are characters, I think, in this particular episode. Um, Jeff, why don't you kick us off, man? Kick us off with your, your top three. So my first one actually has to do with one of our pieces of trivia, and that's the fact that they decided to run it nonstop. And so I think it's a real travesty that Hulu keeps putting in their random-ass commercials. Oh, like, yeah. I've had – I'm sure we've all had those like, hey, you can watch a one-minute trailer at the beginning and get no commercials. Why can't they do that for this episode? I think it really takes something <laughs> away from the episode because of that. Agree. Facts. Agree. Two, we get so many Darius isms in this, you know? The uh, He finds the piano on a, a biohacking website. He doesn't like getting <laughs> his picture taken. He's got a life uh, – two regret life limit. <laughs> like, the Darius isms are so fantastic in this episode. Uh, and lastly – find it real real surprising that uh at the end darius isn't in handcuffs i find it very surprising that the police just let him go and didn't even like question him yeah I, those are all those are good, three. good points terry i why, feel you go? like that uh that they just kind of skipped that part and maybe we just don't see the police questioning but, part. I think we're, see, I think I we're just trying that. But don't you think he would have at least been taken to the station? Because the entire time he's at the house, he drives away in the U-Haul. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've never been uh, <laughs> I've never witness been to a murder. I've been, <laughs> I've been questioned about an attempted murder. Jesus. Oh, that's, oh my God, that's Terry. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, she did it. <laughs> I can say this now. It went to trial. And she got, uh, 
they let her go. Double she did try by a jury. She had a good reason to try and kill the guy. You know, right. Jesus. Don't, I mean, you shouldn't right. drug your girlfriend and then try and have your friends rape her. You may almost get Ooh. end up getting killed. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! This uh, this got uh, this got dark like the that episode. That was like my first. That was like my first year in college, right out of the navy. Motherfucker! Got dark, man. <laughs> this is dark. We're on a dark episode, ladies and gents. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope I've set the tone properly for this episode. If man. it wasn't already set because of Teddy Perkins, <laughs> you set it, Terry. Right. <laughs> oh, so, uh, on a lighter Did you note, Terry or Mike, Perkins. <laughs> on a lighter note, <laughs> uh, Terry, go ahead and hit us up who, with who, your who three. Reads the map. Who reads a map? You see, Darius <laughs> in the uniform. He's reading a map. How to get to that place? Who does that? Oh, still, you know what? Think about it, though. Darius gets a new phone every month because he doesn't hey. want them tracking him. I guarantee he oh. can, never has will not use maps. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Either way. <laughs> did did anyone else want to try the owl casket? No. The ostrich, no. Giant ostrich egg. You can get those. <laughs> they're like fifty bucks. I think that's it. I think they're like two dozen eggs is what they represent. I like looked them up and then it's five saw pounds. That they usually just sell them every now and then. Oh I was my like, God. Oh, that's... <laughs> if you need a lot of eggs for having like a brunch party. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, right? And then, uh, uh, did everybody look up that picture of Sammy Sosa hat? You looked it up, <laughs> right? <laughs> that, right? I've known it for so long. I'm from Chicago, so we know it. Blake, have you seen that picture? Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen the one where he's like white okay. pink, white pinkish. Like, yeah, he's he's not yeah. normal Sammy Sosa. <laughs> and he's got the pink hat, yeah. No. Is, is that what a white penis looks like? <laughs> Is that what, pretty much? Is that what, <laughs> is that what it looks like underneath the scab? <laughs> but yeah, I, I just I haven't seen Sammy or heard from Sammy Sosa in forever, and he was like, you know, like a Hershey bar. He looked like Wesley Snipes when he was out there playing baseball. Oh, yeah. My man, and uh, now he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he is very much not. My man right there. Um, okay. My three here. And I'm going to go back to like the first time I ever watched this episode. Because I had no fucking idea what to expect. I saw no trailers. <laughs> no previews. No nothing. I had no idea. I really had no idea what, what I was getting into when I watched this show. Besides, I think, maybe the first and second episode. But I watched with Jeff. So when I watched this episode... The minute it got creepy, like, I, I <laughs> suppose maybe I was, like, in denial or something and, like, maybe thinking, like, Teddy was going to play a way minor part. But the minute it got creepy for me was the, um, where he's like, hey, man, uh, uh, yeah, I think your butler forgot to get me the water. And he's like, I don't, ha I don't have a butler. You know, <laughs> and then he's like, what? And like, he's like, you press the thing and he's like, yeah, it's a recorder. And it like records just like what he says and he plays it back. And like the messages that are on there are all fucking weird as fu Yeah. There's like, wash your hands immediately. immediately. <laughs> because these are things he has to put in there to remind himself. So he has to remind himself of what he has to do immediately. <laughs> right. <laughs> did he wash his hands? Why did he need to wash his hands? Did he wash his hands before he was all finger in that Alice casket? Please. We, we hope so. Oh, 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 <laughs> we hope so. I didn't need that image. But that was the moment where it got creepy. Like, for me, I was just like, oh, shit. Like, there's something way off about this. Um, then... Like I told y'all when we started this, Darius with that damn hat, that damn Confederate hat, he thought he was so fucking cool. And I, I love the imagery. <laughs> I love the imagery of it. We have a black character wearing a Confederate hat. Like it's the same as I, it's, it's almost for me. 
and I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong in saying this, but it's almost similar imagery if you have Kanye wearing a MAGA hat, right? Like, it especially nowadays, that's kind of um, what it took me to. But isn't Kanye actually a Trump supporter? Yes, pro- like perhaps. Friend, yeah, for, for sure, perhaps. I'm surprised Kanye hasn't said anything yet. I'm just saying, yeah, per, per, perhaps he's friends, perhaps they're friends. I don't know. I feel like Kanye does a lot of things just for, just because Kanye can do things. I don't know. But I, I felt like it was just a very interesting thing to see that image. Uh, and it was so backwards of what you'd expect to see, I suppose. But Darius is a man. He's he's looking fly with his Confederate hat. And then... Was anybody? Um, was anybody? I just googled Kanye MAGA hat, and there's uh, so many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he loves that hat. He absolutely, that's yeah, one. Mm-hmm. And then, seriously, was anybody else just scared every second of the episode when she realized like where the shit was going? Because I was fucking freaked out every the first time I watched this. Every fucking second, I was like, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. So yeah, those are my so top three. All over the place, and there were so many questions you kept having during it. You know, go for it. What were some of the questions? Like, we're all gonna have to think about this well, like the like, first time we watched it because it just got fucking. Well, one question. I don't know about you, but the entire time, is Benny real? Even after you see Benny, I'm like, was that just Teddy wearing a mask downstairs? You know, yeah, Being creepy as shit. Oh yeah. Uh, a big question, you're watching the entire episode, a big question is, is that white guy Donald Glover? No. Um, I read an article where it's not him. It's actually some guy that played a bartender in the, in the first season. No, I was reading an article about this. So, uh, and this will touch on your, uh, who, who brought up the point with, uh, oh yeah, it was you with the trivia, uh, of he stayed in character yeah. the whole time. So he's like, I got the script like the day before I walked on set and then like they kept asking me to ask Teddy for direction. And he's like, I don't know who Teddy was. I don't know why they cared about his opinion so much. I don't know. Not knowing that it was fucking um, or Donald Glover Gambino and Gambino was in character the whole time giving direction. Imagine fucking that, dude. That's fucking creepy, even. Ugh. So, yes, to answer your question, no, that's not him. Who's listening to this? It's fucking um, creepy, the voice. <laughs> <laughs> that voice is so fucking creepy. <laughs> I think it's me. If, if I could have had four things at the beginning of the episode, my number four would have been all that, and Darius still doesn't get the piano. He does not get that damn piano. <laughs> oh. I, him just... I totally forgot I this. I totally forgot this. The whole house is rigged with cameras. How fucking crazy! And it yeah. only pointed out once. I just yeah. saw that again when I, when I was watching. I was like, "Who was watching those cameras? Was it Teddy? I think it was Teddy. Was it Benny? Or was it yeah? Or was it Benny? Who I don't think it was Benny. Camera? I think it was Teddy. I think it was Teddy. Was it maybe both of them at different times? Is that how Benny knew where and when to find uh, Darius? Uh, also, hey, how come the elevator went to the basement when he pushed the first floor? Right. That's so. What you just said, where maybe ben, yeah, Benny had been watching the cameras too at some point. Yeah. Hey, in the words of uh, Teddy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let me uh, let me know when you guys get to the uh, end of the episode where Benny comes uh, to the first floor because I got something to point out then. Okay. Perfect. Um, you, you need to be able to see it before I can point before I can mention it. Trust me. Uh, can we say that uh, Tracy has uh, my lo- my new life motto, basically, of how I just live my life every day? How's that? What's that? Uh, uh, just by doing rich nigga shit. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? <laughs> and I got to use that line perfectly today. I was watching this with my little brother, and he was like, oh man, I got away. I got this Got this commercial coming on, coming on. I was like, "Yeah, I ain't got no commercials coming on because I've got who premium. <laughs> that's rich <laughs> nigga shit." <laughs> yeah, I, I love, love that line. Love I Tracy. Love... <laughs> Every time Tracy comes in, he just gives you a good line. I like love how small it is. I love that whole that whole scene with when they're all together in the car and the dude's like like 
Paperboy doesn't want to be known for anything. The guy's like, hey, man, I gave you some fries. It's like, we'll take them back. <laughs> take them out. <laughs> well, how like, about just the guy also, more of the goddamn uh, unwanted fame. The guy's literally while while uh, Heavy Boy's in his car trying to take pictures, be like, "Yo, sing my cousin happy birthday." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Put me on. Come on, I got this fire mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh, oh, hey. How creepy is it that Teddy go? Teddy's like, oh, yeah, hey, I'll get you the water you want. Tap her bottle. He goes, bottle. And then Teddy brings him a glass of water. <laughs> That's because he mixed the bottled water for him. He gave him, you know, a bit of Evian. <laughs> That's right. Pol- <laughs> Poland. <laughs> I was just like, that is so weird. First time I was like, dude, he's drugging you. I yeah, thought I was, I was like, drugging drink Darius with that. drug you. I'm, By the I'm, way, I just saw one of my favorite <laughs> lines in the episode uh-huh. when he's going through like the t- like all the great fathers. The you, did you catch who the last great father? Yeah, is? yeah, the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the no, 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 the Emilio Estevez, like the the dad who chopped Emilio Estevez <laughs> in the Breakfast Club. <laughs> and isn't Emilio Estevez's character all like my dad beats me? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, that was uh, that was the other dude. Emilio Estevez's his dad was the one who uh, he you pushed, gotta do better. Yeah, you he pushed him. He and, was like, a sports dad. Him out every day. You're pushed thinking, yeah. you think of uh, what's his name? Uh, Judd, Judd, Judd Nelson's. Nelson. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I am. It's a put... band or Christmas at the at our household. Smoke up, Johnny. Yeah, that was the one. That was I. I caught that like last week when I watched it, and I was just like, "Ah, well, fuck! Have I never like caught that line before, bro?" It's, it is so. It does. This episode does have funny bits, but they're so like interweaved with like. But they're when, just so overshadowed. Yeah, they're so overshadowed with like this whole thing of like, of this whole feeling of threat, right? And we we get back right. to again, like we were talking about how. I, you know, I noticed a trend, and I think we 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 all kind of were, were in agreement with it. Every one of these episodes is scary in its own right, and it's like, oh yeah, it, it's a new bit of like that horror genre and scary thriller suspense genre oh. in every fucking episode. What's that? I heard the O. Oh. I just picked up on something. Uh oh. When Darius is in the uh, when Darius is in Benny's room signing the paperwork so we can take the piano. Uh huh. The door has the fixings for a padlock on it. You yeah. see, you see the little piece on the door, and then you see like the little metal part that can go over it, and that you put a padlock on. So on the wall next to it. So what are we? What he are we? Locks Benny in that room at night. I was gonna think. Yeah. Does he lock Benny in there? Dude. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, how creepy was it when? Uh, no, you can't! You can't imagine when he freaks out. I'm yes. Like, what the shit? Dude. Oh, my God. It was... So it was is oh, is Teddy the older or younger brother? I think, I think Teddy's the younger brother to Benny. I think Benny's older, Teddy's younger. That's yeah? That's the feel I got from it. Okay. Yeah. And I think, like, that's why, like, maybe the da- I felt like the dad was harder on Teddy. Or, I'm sorry, I'm Benny. And like Benny being the older one was the was the um, so I don't want to say savant, but like you know the the master. I don't mm. know. I don't know why. I just got that feeling that he was the older one. Hmm. I, I I I thought maybe Teddy was the was the older one for some reason, and I don't know. And and then like Benny was just the one who could make it through all the dad's training and whatnot, you know, but uh, I don't know. That was just a feel I got. Uh, quick shout out to um, in, in kind of going on this episode, if you guys haven't seen it, so you guys know I like to watch a lot of a video and background about these episodes. There's a hero, Mirai, that he's interviewed on with GQ, and he breaks down um, one of the scenes in from this particular episode, or a lot of the, not a lot of the scenes, but a lot of the cinematography, the way it was shot, in this episode. So I want to give some quick shout outs to um, there is a clearly and he he mar- he, had, he had said this uh, clearly a get out reference with the fo- photograph being taken of Darius's character. 
how he's like, hey, I don't like my photo taken, because clearly that's a reference to the character he plays in Get Out, uh, right? With, when, when he gets yeah, the, at least the photo this time taken. he was able to. <laughs> uh, oh, go ahead. Just another, and when he takes that photo, did you look how Benny looks at it and notices that Darius completely blocked out his face, and Benny just goes, hmm, really loudly. Yeah. Like, he was almost ruining his plan of trying to frame him. Like, that's, like, one of your hints right there that he's up to something. Yeah. Right. He's, he's doing some weird shit, man. And uh, I, I think a, a lot of the way that they... they the frame, um, Benny. A lot of this is just—it's so fucking creepy, dude. Like it's—it's it's straight out of a, a horror movie. And as we know, like Hiro Mirai is no stranger to that, right? Like, uh, if you've seen the music video, uh, what was it? What's the one? What's the one? Uh, Telegraph Ave, right? Yeah. Bits of horror at Oakland? the end. Yeah, Oakland. Uh, yeah. Bits, bits of horror at the end, man. Like all kind of little elements well, like that. Go ahead. Well, uh, Cam fire he's running around he's uh got a noose around his neck but it turns oh, out yeah. he's already dead been dead the entire time mm -hmm. yeah. he does well, a lot of horror in his videos or even this is america oof talk about <sighs> talk about that talk about probably that. the most horror in any of his videos huh man uh a little subtext and everything right but yeah this is uh it, it's this is really fucking creepy and so everybody as, as I, I think all this to say go check out the hero and i'll share it here in the in the group uh, chat so everybody can watch it but go check out the hero mirai episode now i'll probably put instead of you know i start every episode off with the beginning bit i'll probably put that beginning bit maybe in the beginning or the or the end or something like that no probably in the nice. beginning uh like him talking about this particular episode but yeah man um yeah, the, just the cinematography in this is, is so fucking well done. Without them saying a whole bunch, and you're already fucking creeped out. The mannerisms of Teddy, oh, yeah. you know, the way he speaks, the way he talks, it's so... The way he creepy. looks at you. Yes. And he just stares at you. Like, when he was eating that owl's casket, he, like, how he's just cutting, he just <laughs> kept making eye contact the whole time. It's just like, don't stop looking at me, please. It's unsettling. Eyes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the hey, was anybody creeped out the first time? I mean, I, I'm still creeped out every time I see it. When he goes to the the dad's hall of fame and the way that like the the face of the doll of like the mannequin is like so fucking weird. Okay. Yes, I don't know. Slender That's Man still creepy. Slender Man ass. Yeah, it looks exactly like Slender Man. <laughs> right. Mm. By the way, Robin sees him, and he wanted it to look like a botched uh, home invasion. Yes, robbery. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say that. Yeah. What is the? the I didn't. I love how you pointed that out because I was kept thinking. I'm like, you know, because Darius doesn't steal the fucking piano and like mm, how, and then it was like no he wanted it to look like a, a robbery that's what he wanted it to look like and it and it's that season uh for for that to happen oh that's such a beautiful shot when again it's it's the one you pointed out with Just the with the padlock walking in. no with the padlock and you see yeah. the, you see Darius sitting and you see like it's the it's the doorway, and you just see you know Benny obviously going through, or not, uh, Terry, uh, Teddy going through the the fucking papers with this. <laughs> Teddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, did you also notice what he uses to uh, cover up the windows? Newspaper. He uses sheet music. No. Oh. Sheet music. That's what. It, okay, I kept trying to see what it was. I, I couldn't notice. At least, it. In, at least when they're in the room with the piano, it was sheet music. And when they were in the dad's room, I know at least some of it was sheet music. So yeah, that was like that. <laughs> Almost like a like a reference to like that's how much he that much pain he has. Like he has no no respect for his past anymore. No, um, it 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 bothers him. You know. So this is his way of dismantling it. Almost. Well, remember he says that the good work, the good music comes from pain. the pain. What was it? Your no, no one plays pain like your brother. And, yeah, and he's almost using that pain to block out the outside world, you know. And uh, that's what he sees. That's the lens he sees everything through. So, kind of like we have have to keep the, everything dark because my brother's conditioned. The light hurts him. So, I mean, maybe maybe it's something like with that. 
What was the blood? Where did the blood come from when he when he's taking that piano, right? Right on the keys, like because we we know he, Benny was playing the piano. His brother then goes into the room where the piano's being played. Do you think he like beat him or tried to kill him then? I think he tried to kill him then. Interesting. I never knew right because he's pretty come. surprised because he goes, "Benny, you're alive." Yeah, right? interesting. Because we never really see when he had time to to actually maybe kill Benny. Are you guys at the point where Benny comes up the elevator yet? No, no, no. I just got to the bottom of the elevator. Uh, I'm about I'm about to be. He's talking about sacrifices, and Steven is okay. gone. When you get there, pay attention to Benny's uh, shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing that, and I was like, where did... It's, yeah, it still confuses me. So that's why I was like, was it like that in the attic? No, I'm in the basement. That I don't remember. Uh, I just remember nosing here. And anyway, dude, oh my God. When he's throwing the handcuffs at Darius, there's literally no emotion whatsoever on his face. That's so creepy. It, 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 it'd be like that, man, when you got all kind of worked onto your face. <laughs> But also, what? why is he having him handcuff himself? The entire point is it's a botched robbery. Shoot him. I think he was going to shoot him and then ha- unhandcuff him. I don't think he wanted him to move. You already got him sitting down. And the handcuffs? That's going to like create bruises and shit, you know? Maybe. Things I... Will... I don't think Teddy's thinking this through, guys. Uh, he's not the smartest. He just – he is the <laughs> – He's the creepiest for sure. He's not the smartest. Okay, so I'm God, looking. So I'm looking at what Benny's shirt right now, and it's white. Like obviously, he's downstairs. So he's in, right after Benny, he's in the attic right now. I mean, the, in the, the basement. basement. Yeah. Okay. Well, at the end of the episode, when he shoots Teddy, his shirt is red with blood. And here's the thing: it's red with blood, like down by his waist slash crotch area. It's not red with blood all the way throughout, so it's not splatter from when he shot Teddy. I think Teddy already tried to kill him. Right, but it's just like, when did he try to kill him? Exactly. Yeah. But you, you know what? The scene, I just rewatched the scene where um, Darius is talking to Benny, where you would see the blood. It's completely been covered up. Yeah, it's covered up. He- he has the chalkboard in front of him. He's got the a whole time. Yeah, he's got the blanket and, a, and, and like, chalkboard. He's wearing more of his yeah, his black. Yeah, you can't see Dude, it once at again all. the so cinematography in this show, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe when he had, you saw the blood splatter on the keyboard, that might have been his attempt yeah. to kill him right then. So what? What is? I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Like this would have been. Uh, he would have gotten stabbed, say in the stomach, or like this would have been like even shot in the stomach. Yeah, I say maybe he probably stabbed because he probably would have hurt because that old gun was loud as fuck. So yeah, he probably yeah. tried to stab something. Uh, that's an old ass shotgun. I knew there was problems the minute I knew like this. Oh. The minute I knew this shit was serious was again the the as we get to this point where uh, Teddy's parked behind fucking Darius and I was like, when yeah. the fuck like. I would never heard a car. It must have been when he was trying to fucking move the, uh, uh, you know, the the elevator. The piano so, in the elevator. So, so you ask about that scene. Who moved the elevator to the bottom floor? Was it Benny or was it uh, Teddy? And it could make sense that it was Teddy, so that way it would give him time to move the car. You know what I mean? He wouldn't. We wouldn't have had enough time. Had had, but it also could have been Benny trying to get time to talk to Dar. Well, talk to Darius, you know. But, yeah, and maybe he he figured it out then. I I don't know, but like, it it it's very strange. It's it, it's we, we need oh, to start man. piecing these things a, a bit more together. Oh, it's, that's such a creepy shot too when he's walking through that hallway, the dark hallway, and he sees the the video playing of a little such boy. A good shot though. Little boy crying. Yeah, it looks so fucking creep. Yeah, I'm, I'm just now on it. So who was? So that had to be Benny playing, right? Yeah. So why was Teddy like just 
why does he like rewatching it so much? It's Beca- so be- weird. Because he says he says this. I love this song. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, is it, I think he is it hated almost Benny possible? because his dad clearly liked Benny more. Mm-hmm. I think he hated Benny because Benny was the better pianist. I do too. I think that's why. I think ultimately, what, like, although years later, why he killed him? A jealousy plot line, damn near. You know, like it's it's right. the the brother's more successful. The brother's this, and now the brother can't do shit. And the 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 it's a Cain and Abel. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly a story of that in in a lot of aspects. The dad likes one way better. So. So does does Sam? Does remember? So do you think the disease that they had was vitiligo? Do you think that's what it was? The one where your skin uh, slowly loses pigment? Maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know there's a disease you can get. It's pretty gen- It's a genetic one where you can't go out in the sunlight. But I, I heard that that's usually so affects you from a young age. I didn't think it like oh could yeah show that's up at any time. To, like show up like by five. Yeah, so I don't know if it could just show up like that. So what if there's nothing wrong with Benny and it's just like he's covered up because like that's what Teddy's made him do. You know what I mean? Like maybe he beats him or something. Oh. oh yeah, something like, like that. Dude, that makes sense actually. You know, it's really fucking weird that they'd have like the same skin tone and stuff and all this like it'd be really fucking weird maybe he got like some sort of disease and that's why he's well, it's white genetic, it up. they could both have it could be yeah i don't i don't know man it's it's fucking it brings as we get to the end of the episode it brings up a lot of fucking questions about like what the and he even dresses benny the way he dresses you know what i mean like they could both have, creepy? yeah <laughs> well they both have that, that could it be possible <laughs> that <laughs> They were both Benny white. is no that Benny is Teddy's son. That Teddy is the dad the whole time. Oh, but you really shit. don't know his age. You don't know how mm. old Benny could be. Black don't crack. Well, you know. Also, did that plus Teddy's clearly shame. had some plastic surgery. Lots, lots of work on him. Yeah. yeah. Could he actually just? <sighs> What the, dad the fuck? Instead of the brother the whole time. Spying. That's that's a bomb right there, Bruh. Well, in, in the words of Teddy, yes. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna do that from now on. <laughs> I also I got, and I'm gonna be creeped out every fucking time. <laughs> I gotta give this episode a lot of props too, because obviously, like, it's a horror episode. And I love whenever a horror movie or a horror episode or anything horror related can make it creepy and scary with the entire thing in the sunlight. And that's the thing. This entire episode was shot when Darius is leaving, it's like just getting sunset. Right. Yeah, it's it's I think they used it well. Yeah, it's it's so cause it's like it's not night. That would be one thing if it was at night or if it was in the evening. This is clearly daytime. Daytime horror is some of the like these scariest. I can't think of the last like scary You're movie. To be safe during the day, bro. Right, and you not not in Atlanta, not in Atlanta, not today, not today. It's Robin season. It's, it's, it's not ro- getting robbed for his life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do we do we ever think that Darius also, took the piano? Do you think this is? No, he did The uh, cops and the uh, CSI guys were wheeling it out as evidence. Yeah. Oh, okay, ma'am. Yep. Got that U-Haul for nothing. That sucks. So, what time of year do we think this is? Woo! A fall, a fall? Maybe he's got that jacket Still on. It has to be fall. I mean, yeah. I think it's a lot sooner than that. I think well, it might be like no. Remember, we thought last episode was about. Uh, we thought last episode was about Halloween-ish, right? Right, October. It was Oktoberfest. Yeah, so like, two episodes ago, it was Oktoberfest. Right. Uh, well, it should be November or December, right? I, I would go with November, yeah. I mean, not to go too far into the future. I know we don't talk about future episodes, but next episode is uh, New Year's Eve. Is yeah. So, so, thinking right around Christmas? 
Yeah, it would be a maybe sort of, a little, maybe like between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a jack. That's a jacket I wear at like Christmas time. Uh, you're you're right. Like remember, I'd say late November, December. I'd go with the November, December area if we can maybe agree with with that kind that's of time fair. frame. You, dude, it's so fucking creepy that I never noticed the blood on fucking what's his name until until now. Uh, yeah, I'm Benny, and like it, it was I, literally the last time I was watching through. I was like, "That's that's way too much for how far away he shot the he shot the guy." And and it was and it was clearly the line, the dead giveaway that like he was supposed to have been dead is when Teddy's like, uh, "You know, Benny, you're alive," and it's just that like, face I, I noticed the blood, and I didn't put that so together until you guys said creepy. it. Creepy, like. He does his own horrified, creepy face. And he's yes. like, wow, Teddy Perkins is finally scared. And even his, look at me, I'm Teddy Perkins, I'm frightened. His frightened face is scary. It's fucking you know? scary, dude. What were you saying? What were you saying, Jeff? Oh, oh I was saying, um, I noticed the blood, but I didn't even put together the whole, like, oh, clearly his brother attacked him until you guys pointed out how surprised he was. He's like, Benny, you're the Like, even after noticing the blood, I didn't even put those two together there's so many parts to this episode yeah. also i really hope childish gambino is not, not a method actor because how much do you think this episode fucked him up if he is he, he's i don't think he normally is but for this episode he was with uh with teddy and like i i'd have been scared as shit fuck you up so bad yes i think the only part of the people that only knew were probably that's like a, a producer and like for sure hero Marai, and that's about it oh yeah Dude, that's like you finish the episode and you just go to a beach and sit sit on the beach in the sun for a week to just try and fix your brain. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Bro, uh, <laughs> but Lakeith, Lakeith Stanfield talked talked about on this episode, like he had no idea that was uh, Donald Glover. It, it's, it's so fucking... Glover? Yeah, he had no idea. I think it's so fucking creepy and it's so fucking scary and it adds to the diet the dynamic of like when Lakeith is li- literally scared, he's probably literally scared for like acting with somebody oh, he's never yeah. acted with before. And like, this guy's being creepy and like making these faces and like, you're like, what in the fuck? Like a part of this feels super real. I, d- I think is what I, I'm, I'm, I'm all in all. I'm trying to say it feels super fucking scary. Well, Imagine looking at him and being like, why does this creepy, not normal looking white guy look so familiar too? Because right. that's what I was thinking the entire episode. I was like, I know who the, f- I fucking know I know this guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Yes. I had to go look it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, w- by the way, like, we talk about how great the cinematography is. How great to their fucking makeup uh, and special effects people? Because they didn't just whiteface them; they had to get they had to do the chin and those cheekbones and the fucking contacts. Dude, they did a lot of work to get him to look like Teddy Perkins. Yes. Um. (laughs) God damn it! It's creepy every time. I I think I I should insert that every single time. Actually, I'm gonna have to go through this and listen to it. Okay, I want to touch on on something. So this this, this is obviously it's got comedic bits. It's like a it's like an it's a really short thing of like Get Out. It really seems like it, at least in the universe of Get Out, right? Like creepy. It's it's home. It's during the day. It's it's making something scary that shouldn't be scary. It's making something suspenseful that shouldn't be suspenseful. Picking a, if, if somebody told you this episode was hey, it's about a guy going to pick up a piano from a creepy old white guy. Uh, it sounds a little creepy, right? But like, okay, is it, it's during the daytime. Okay, well, the guy lives in a mansion. Okay, like there's nothing creepy about like the elements of this. It's the way everything plays out. Now, the other thing I want to make them want to make clear, like it's even made more. We talk about Atlanta. We talk about like the whole race element. It's made even more strange. Obviously, Ted, Teddy's character is based on like a Michael Jackson, somebody who used to be black and is now white and now is about to blame a crime on a black person. Do you know what I mean? Like that whole element is the undertone so of prophecy, you think? It's I don't know what it was, you know? It's so it's so crazy, but that's that's the 
it looks like it's a white dude flame, you know, framing a black person for a crime. But it's really, on the undertone of it, the guy's black, you know? It's a black person flaming and right. framing another black person for a crime. And it's so crazy that it's it would make it it would make it uh, if the cops were to come, let's say, and Darius were to be shot, wow. let's, it, it would it would be okay, like it would look like oh my god, it does look like a home invasion. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a really well, weird here's element. Here's the thing: when you look at Teddy, you know there's something wrong with that white guy. And I don't mean there's something wrong. Like, huh? Maybe that guy has like early onset Alzheimer's or some sort of dementia. No, you look at him, you're like, that doesn't look like a person should look. So maybe the cops would have looked into it a little bit more. But in reality, they probably wouldn't have. Right. Um, but here's a question, and I didn't think about this until you brought this up, Blake. Do you think that Teddy's, I'm going to assume, hate for black people is why he did that to himself? Maybe he didn't have any disease. Maybe he just hated black people, so he literally made himself white. I, I don't know. I, yeah, it could be. It's like, uh, yeah, I I don't know. It's a really. I think that's a really interesting question. Also, I don't know if it's ever how pointed the out. Fuck, does a person do that? Skin I know it can skin? happen. I, mean, I know they can do it. Yeah, ask Michael Jackson. Like, he did it. <laughs> do they inject that shit? Do they just pour it out? Like, I, I honestly don't know. I I don't know. I think it was. It's, it's some kind of multi-stage treatment. I'm sure. Is it literally a tattoo gun of white ink over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again? No, no I, matter what, I have to assume it's incredibly painful. You know? Yeah, I know that you got to be put under and shit to do all that, man. Like to get your skin like dyed multiple times throughout throughout itself, and for like it to spread. I don't, I don't know what the with the killing of melanin or, or the whatever is. It makes your skin tan, right? Like. I don't know what that process is like. That would be an interesting. We should have fucking looked this up. <laughs> we could have had answers for our fans. By uh, skin bleaching uh, medicines work by reducing a pigment called melanin. Duh. By applying the medication to hyperpigmented areas, parts of the body or face that are visibly darker than others, melanin production is disrupted, allowing the skin to lighten and become more uniform. Huh. So I guess it's just like a lotion that just completely fucks your body up right yeah that's what i'm seeing too well i guess you can also i guess go to a plastic surgeon and get the, like the ultra grade stuff yeah like skin grafts or some shit injected no injected for sure i think i'd say right like they'd have to inject it on man i just it's so funny i have a friend uh totally well i've got this friend her name's uh feeny She's uh, <clears throat> she's an Arab, and she's got vitiligo. She's got you know it's like a little bit on her hands, elbows, a little bit on her neck, and she's one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. And it's just like, why would like? It's not. It it looks so much worse to go do skin bleaching than to just look exactly how you look. Like you can look absolutely gorgeous with vitiligo. I mean, you know what? There's a fun uh, there's a fun little. I guess trivia bit. Zazzy be- uh Zazzy Beats Bates, uh she so Van in Deadpool two, she plays Domino, who has Vitiligo. Oh, interesting. Oh. On her eye right there. Interesting. Okay. I'm 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 Which is to... also di- different than the way they did it in the comics. In the comics, Domino is literally bone white with just a white with a black spot on her eye like a like a dalmatian oh all right it was a good choice i like it yeah (laughs) yeah yeah, they kind of they reversed it on her all right so i got two two more questions as we kind of round this out uh it is very (coughs) abundant when teddy is making the hall to great fathers of like why he wants to make a hall for great great fathers if he is indeed the father Yes. Uh, and then two, uh, it, do we ever see a picture of Teddy and Benny, like, as kids? Like, so that way we can assume one way or another. Together? If right. They... You never see never pictures of them together. It's always Benny and his dad. You fucking blew this out of the water, pan. And there's, there's just one creepy photo that they look at. It's where you see, I think it's... <clears throat> they're, they're shaking hands with Bill Clinton, I want to say. 
It's Benny, I'm assuming, and shaking hands with Bill Clinton. And in the background, you see a, a black guy, and uh, his eyes are, like, all super white. I'm so glad someone else noticed it. That was the creepiest fucking thing. I kept assuming it was just like uh, he was wearing sunglasses, and when they took a camera, like the light reflected off him. Mm-hmm. But it, it looks like he's got glowing fucking eyes. It is terrifying, dude. I'm gonna need to find that photo and and, and use it for this episode. <laughs> if you want to sleep tonight, don't find the photo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on on that dude, note, dude, I just found an Easter egg that like. Like in Marvel movies, when like three years after it comes out, someone finds the last Easter egg. I think you just did that for this episode, bro. <laughs> just, just like, I, cause you would. I just don't understand how their brother relationship would work and why he's so weird about it. It it doesn't make sense. Like either if he's the older or the younger brother, I was just like, it, it doesn't make sense. But if he was the dad the whole time. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think you absolutely. I think you knocked that one out of the. Park. I think we hit the nail on the head on on this on this episode for sure. Um, yeah. Anything else as we are rounding out this this episode? Uh, I think we we touched on as much as we could, but anything the only we're missing? Thing that I've got, um, that literally, uh, not the last watch through but the watch through before it wasn't until today that i realized this um darius doesn't play piano he just loves the way it looks and don't get me wrong it looks gorgeous with the colored keys and everything but like that just i don't know why every single time i just thought he played low-key played piano yeah (laughs) he does ask him right how long have you played and he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> and I love, you know Which, what? Once again, is so curious. I, I love about this episode, and we haven't pointed it out as ways kind of round out before we get to, to uh, Terry. This is the first episode I think we see where it's all Darius. We've gotten an all uh, Paperboy episode. We've gotten an all Van episode, pretty much. Or we're gonna get one. Uh, we've gotten Aaron a lot. Well, no, no, we had one. We had one when she was at uh, the piss test. Yeah, yeah, one. that was basically her, her episode too, as I well. Think you're right? right. But this is the first time we see primarily Darius, who we see as more of a background character that says cra- crazy smart things every now and then. He takes the lead, and it's done supremely well. Like we realize Darius. <laughs> can hold his own in this universe and I think that's really without Paperboy by his side oh, yeah. without Earn by his side I think that's important that's just as important to us as this episode is with the dramatic effect of this episode you know what I mean and, and to compound on that how about the fact that it is the highest rated episode of the season it it's just the Darius episode it's a 9.7 is that what you said yeah that is crazy. That's crazy. Terry, any final thoughts? Final thought? Uh, this is a good one. What <laughs> was Darius's first regret? Oh, shit. Do we know it? No. Nope. He says he has a two regret life limit, and he, he, he says he's on one. If he gets one more, someone has to kill him. So what was that first one? <laughs> Also, who's the person, do you think? Who do you think he chose as his hitman? I, I think he just has to tell anyone as soon as it happens, you know. But you I want his friends with, with all those Asian mobsters. Yeah, so just anybody. <laughs> what was his first regret? What did he do? Or I, not do, I guess. I wonder. I wonder. I, lo- I love this episode. I'm so glad we broke it down. It, I think it's filled now that we have so many perspectives and so many heads looking on this. We can see it in so many different ways. I'm I'm never going to see this episode the same ever again after having this conversation. And in fact, oh, I'm going to no, go. No. I'm going to continuously go through it and try to find even more <laughs> pieces of evidence that point to: Is it really a brother? Is it really the dad? And all and all the other any creepy other elements that I can I can find about this. So, guys, I recommend. I mean, we've been breaking it down. Down for like an hour, and there's still so much left on the cutting room floor, you know. <laughs> for yeah, there's so many, there's so much you probably missed as far as cinematography goes. Um, 
you made okay. We're we're all good. I thought you made like some hand gestures and shit, Jeff. I was like, what in the fuck is going on? You you were doing the outro, bro. Uh, okay, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I think everybody yeah. should for sure check this episode out. Like, even if you don't even watch Atlanta and you're just like happen to land here, just watch this episode. It's fucking great. It's everything like you'd want out of a horror movie, a suspense movie. Man, you don't even have to watch the rest of the rest of the fucking season and you can just hear us ramble about this and then it'll make a lot more sense after you you watch it um guys let's go ahead and shout yourselves out as we take off and move on to the next episode terry where can people find you online if they want to reach out to you and chat with you on some happy notes about atlanta uh the quickest way to reach out to me directly would probably be you know old ig you know Hit me up on that. So that's Terry F. as in Fleming's photos. Terry F. photos. That way you can see some of my beautiful artwork. Help support me. You know, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jeff, what is? <laughs> where can people find you, man? Uh, you can find me in public uh, as long as you stand six feet away and wear a mask because we're still... In quarantine procedures, by uh, other than that, you can try finding me on Facebook. And uh, now nah, I think Terry said it uh, just uh, I think Terry said it best Black Lives Matter. Yes, I will say that Black Lives Matter. I'm so glad that we have a, 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 a black co host, like, um, you know, to be able to diversify the show on a show that's a but it's basically about the black community and like. I think we do a really good job of representing all the cultures and how they could, how it should be. Hey, you don't got to hate everybody. Everybody get along and we can all be, be friends on the note of friends. Everybody, we should all be friends and you should tell your friends. So that way we can all be friends. Follow the show unfiltered bachelor. You can follow it, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can follow me, money, Blake, weather, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. That's money, Blake, weather. Uh, you can follow the podcast on your favorite podcast app, <laughs> Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, you know, Google play anywhere podcasts are. That's what we are. If you're listening to us somewhere other than that, thank you. Go ahead and click a like, Write a review. Write a comment. Just share this. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let us everybody stay safe. Let us everybody get along. And uh, yeah, and until the next episode, we will see you. Peace. Girl, what's the problem? Because I know it's hard sometimes. Baby, just give me some time. Ooh, on and out. Girl, we can solve them. If you just give me some time, I can open up your mind.